The first one, we'll deal with it uh, in order of difficulty. The first one that's easiest, I think, is what we call midpoint. Midpoint? Is this ringing a bell? Yeah. So this is like, you've got two points, right? What's the one point that is exactly halfway between yours? So I'm going to give you the formula, and then we're going to have a go and see how it works over here. So the midpoint, which is usually indicated with um, a capital M, like that, it has a formula which it looks like this. I thought M is gradient. Yeah, little m is gradient. Oh, little. Big M, capital M, is midpoint. So here's the midpoint formula. And you can see, because what you're going to get out of this is a point, it's formatted like a point. You've got your brackets around the edges, you've got a comma in the middle, there's an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. For each one, you're adding them and then you're dividing by two. All you're doing is you're working out the average. That's all you're doing. So for example, let's do the midpoint of these two guys over here. So I'll write that as midpoint, and because it's between A and B, I'll write A, B, down here. Okay. And then I'm going to look and I'm going to say, okay, which of these are my x coordinates and which ones are y's? Now, if you've got another color there, I'm going to stay with you. No, I'm going to go to orange. If you've got another color there, this is really useful. I'm actually going to label onto my coordinates which ones are the x's and which ones are the y's. So have a look here. 2, comma 3. Which one's the x and which one's the y again? 2 is x. The x is the 2? Yeah. And the 3 is the y. It's alphabetical. Do you remember that? So I'm going to write this as x1, y1. You don't have to do this, but I highly encourage you to do because then you can have it in front of you. Oh, this is which one, which number fits where, rather than trying to keep it all in your head and then mixing them on by accident. So you've got one point and it's x and y, and then you've got the other point, and it also has an x and a y. X2, y2. Does that make sense? Right, let's crunch it and see what happens. So we'll do the x's first. X1 plus X2, there's 2 and there's negative 3. So 2 plus negative 3. And then I divide by 2. There's the X's. What am I going to put in for the Y's? 3 plus 1 over 2. Okay? I'm just going to quickly calculate this. I could go to my calculator, but these are pretty simple numbers that we started with. So 2 plus negative 3 is 2 minus 3. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Which is negative one. 1. So this is just negative 1 over 2. What about on the right hand side? What am I getting here? 4 over 2. 4 over 2, which is 2. two. Okay, now you can see I can actually find where this is on my original diagram. Let's go and have a look. Negative a half, here's 0 and here's negative 1. Do you agree? So negative half is halfway in between here and here. And where's 2? It's going to be that. There. Do you agree? Yeah. Does it look like the midpoint? Yeah. Okay. 